Okay, so let's look at this. This is uh, your Miocene. And what I want to do here is shift command four or screenshot it. Okay. Again, how would I get one in here that's a higher quality render? Well, I like the beauty of wireframe unshaded. You know, you should always look at that. That's one thing that people always ask for is your wireframes. But the problem is if it's in green mode or object mode, you can't see very much. Okay? So hopefully they have the wireframe back there in ZBrush to look at. Maybe this should be more about the fact that when you render it, it looks good. Okay, so let's render that again. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't. Yeah, you got a mental my software to actually get the flower. And then you're going to have problems with the normal map because the normal map doesn't really respond too well with the Maya software. So <laughs> you, you got a you got a double-edged sword here. You can uh, make the flower look good, or you can make the dragonfly look good, or you can think of a way to do both. And how would you do that? And that is, you render them separate. <laughs> okay, and in this case, see how broken up he looks okay that's because the normal map doesn't travel well well if you stick his ugly little mug on a layer in here so in this case I'm going to hide the flowers switch to mental ray Go to quality, production quality. And then render out the scene. Now this window right here, this can be adjusted under render settings. So if I, if I was in render settings, I can pick a higher resolution by going into here. Under the common tab, I have the ability to drop this down to something a little higher. How about like uh, full sc full screen 1280p? So, of course, it would be nice to see your film gate. So here's your film game. Okay, with your flower showing, let's get a a real good zoomed in shot. Okay, then we can hide the flowers and render it out. And this will take a while. This is going to be one of those things that really takes... Now everything black in the background is actually transparent in Photoshop so you won't have to worry too much about doing any cutouts or anything like that it'll all cut out really nice okay so there we go file oh, back here file save image and on the desktop I have sample scat and we'll call this render one. And I'll just reverse it. I'll put him on a poly or a actual layer. Along with all his little doodads. And then hide him and bring him in and then you render it one more time. This time you switch it over to Maya software. 
and make sure my software is the highest quality. Go ahead and render it. And this is called compositing. It's something you gotta learn anyway. In this case, the flowers look better than the actual bug, so, well, oh well. File, save image. The flowers are fake anyway. They're fake flowers. Okay, so back in Photoshop world, let's bring in those two images. Okay, this one gets duplicated over to Render 2. And then if we go to Render 2, which is located here, there he is on the flower. Now you have to do some thinking, what's wrong with the scene? Well, the fact is, his little legs are on the other side of the flower. So you're going to have to delete those out. So that's one thing you have to do. But not much. As far as composition work, that's not too bad. Okay, there's that. And I think there's something in here, if I remember right. Yes, you got to uncheck this. That way you can delete stuff. So. I think that leg's in the foreground, this leg's in the background, this leg's in the background, this leg's in the background. There we go. And when you get done with that, that's when you take it and go in here and go edit, copy merged, and then you go back to your scat sheet. So, untitled one, and let's paste that in. and we'll arrange that in some order where it's somewhere on the sheet. Each one of these can be taken apart and made transparent. In the next video, let me show you some more.